Hey students, welcome back. This is going to be four three notes, but first here is your bell ringer in case you wanted to jump ahead. Uh, we have already done this bell ringer if you were in class, but if not, go ahead and grab it. So here we go. Jumping right in. Today, we're going to be converting grams to moles. So we're going to be using those molar masses that we've been calculating um, all along here for a while to... Um, perform some calculations, we're going to convert to moles. And so remember we said moles were an amount of substance, right? We said moles were an amount of substance. So we're going to take that just a little bit further. All right. Uh, this is page 25, 4.3. And without further ado, let's kind of get rolling. So we've got grams to moles and moles to grams, back and forth. Uh, in early, very early in the fall, we did what it was called an equivalence statement. And remember that's where we have two amounts that are equal to each other. So if you remember like in the f earlier in the fall, we used like one foot equals 12 inches. Well, that same thing kind of has to go along with uh, our moles. And we'll get more into this in the next video. But moles, they had to like kind of signify an amount of substance that would have like the same number of particles in it. And that was made up by Avogadro. And again, we'll get more into that in that video. So they based it all on this, the mole, all right, which is our new thing. So what we know is that the mole is equal to the molar mass of that substance. So one mole equals the molar mass of that substance. And if you remember the formula or the label we've been using um, all along here, it's been grams per mole, which means like so many grams equals one mole. So that's what we've been working on. So here we go. Uh, looking at some steps here, we're going to find molar mass of each substance. That's what we're always going to start with on these because we need to know those molar mass. Then we're going to convert to what we're looking for. Uh, if we're going to grams, we'll multiply by the molar mass. If we're going to moles, we'll divide by the molar mass. And we know that because we're going to use unit canceling just like we did earlier with our unit analysis or dimensional analysis. Uh, you'll need your periodic table perhaps, but definitely, definitely a calculator here. All right, because we can actually flip back and find our molar masses of water and um, iron 2 chlorate from a little bit earlier. So we've got 18.02 is our molar mass of water. So I'm just going to include this here on each of these while you're kind of writing down the problem. All right, so here we go. Um, we're looking for... You know how I like to circle? We're looking for grams of water and we know we have 250 moles. So using our unit analysis or our dimensional analysis skills that we learned earlier this year, we're going to start our little t-chart right here, 250 moles. And we have that many moles of water. And we know that one mole of water equals 18.02 grams of H2O. So this looks very familiar to what we've done before. So really all we're going to do is we're just going to take 250 times 18.02 and that's going to be our answer. We're still going to keep two decimals kind of the whole way through this unit. That way we um, are rolling, although this one has no decimals. So we're going to have to add some, but that's okay. And so that's that many grams of H2O. And there we have it. Fairly simple, hopefully. All right. So let's roll on and look at this next one. This time we're still looking for grams of water. And we have 0 0.981 moles. So let's kind of see what we got there. All right. So we'll start with 0 0.981. And that's moles of H2O. And kind of just doing the same thing we just did. We know that one mole of H2O is equal to 18.02 grams of water, right? Because that's what really this statement should look like. One mole of H2O is equal to 18.02 grams of H2O, right? That's just our equivalent statement there. If we look, moles cancel and we're ready to calculate. So we're going to take 0.981 and multiply that by 
And we're going to have our answer. This time we're actually going to have some decimals. So we're going to say 17.68 grams of H2O. Now we're going to see if we can reverse the process here. Kind of along those same lines. All right. Now we have to check back here. We remember we had uh, iron 3 chlorate, or excuse me, iron 2 chlorate, Fe, and then ClO3, right, and 2. And we have to figure out, we have to remember that molar mass. And I'm going to just recalculate that real quick here because I don't have it in my notes in front of me. And of course I don't remember it because that would be... Ooh, something. Yeah, 222.75. That's what I remembered, but I wasn't sure. So, all right. There's our molar mass there. This one's just going to be a little bit different because it's going to be division, but still the same thing. This time we're looking for moles of iron 2 chlorate. And we have 794 grams. So we've got 794 grams of iron 2 chlorate. All right. And we're going to put 222.75 grams on the bottom. All right. And one mole on top. Notice how this nicely cancels out our grams. Beep, beep. All right. So all we're going to do in this is we're just going to take 794, kind of to write this out, 794 and divide by 222.75. All right. And we should get 3.56 moles. All right. The neighborhood dog is barking quite a lot out there. I don't know if you can hear that, but lucky us. All right. And awesome. Let's move on to the next one. Now, this same thing, we're going to just look, we're just going to get a smaller answer this time. So we've still got our molar mass is equal to that. 222.75 and this was found on our previous days probably uh 4.1 notes if you want to flip back uh, we found it in there all right and so now we've got we're still looking for moles we have 0 0.108 grams so we're going to start with 0 0.108 grams of fe parentheses clo3 parentheses two bloop all right. Remember, we want grams to cancel. That's why we put 222.75 on the bottom. All right. And we'll put one mole on top. Oh, and now the whole neighborhood's going. That's awesome. All right. Again, lucky us. And hopefully you can't hear that. All right. So grams cancel. And now we're going to take 0.108 and divide by 222.75. This is going to be a smaller number. So we could even put that in scientific notation. Oh my, let's remember that. This should be a good review for us because uh, our final is coming up. Um, there we go with uh, keeping the amount of sig figs that we'll need there. All right. So let's go ahead and put that in scientific notation. Just a quick review of that because it's been a while. One, two, three, four. So we're going to say 4.85 times 10 to the negative fourth. And then we've got moles of Fe, parentheses, ClO3, parentheses 2. And there we have it. All right. That should be fairly simple. Okay. See you next video.